And Kate joins us now with a look at what's trending. Not phoning it in here, right, Kate? I was going to say, what's my excuse? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm talking about trends in travel this morning. And if you're tired of taking your own vacation pictures, well, it's about time. I kid. The desire for those perfect shots goes next level with companies that will pair you with a professional photographer to take your vacation pictures for you. One company called Flytographer offers packages from 30 minutes for about $250 to two hours at $650. You can search for available photographers wherever you're traveling. The benefits, they say, are better quality, everybody's in the picture, and the photographer is more familiar with the area. Now, this is popular with proposals, people who want to capture that moment when they pop the question. But the question is, what do you think? Do you need to hire a pro to handle those Kodak moments. Is there no in between? It's either selfies that look terrible or spending hundreds of dollars to hire a professional. I know, having a stranger take yeah. it for you. And if all of us live near Niagara Falls, we all right. know it's simple enough just to hand over the camera and say, can you please take can a photo a picture for me? for me? Yes. But until you said proposals, okay, that's the only thing that made sense yeah. in that entire story with me. Yeah, that's something that you feel like, okay, now I could see why you would want right. to have a photographer there and and capture that. So, mm -hmm. I don't know, let us know what you think. Um, you don't have to feel, uh, you don't have to do much to feel like you're on vacation today. Hello, here we go, it's <laughs> National Tequila Day. I haven't had Evidently it is. that <laughs> much. A number of places offering deals on things like margaritas. Yes, it's 6 a.m. on a Tuesday, but this is the daybreak way, <laughs> and we can only speculate how many decisions involving tequila led to many unknown stories of Western New York. <laughs> Cheers, everybody, and make good choices. And finally, the What's Trending Spotlight is shining on our very own Patrick Hammer this morning as you get a chance to see him like you have never seen him before. Probably I'm completely speculating oh. with that one, but this is Patrick this weekend at a pie eating contest at St. John Vianney <laughs> Summer Fest in Orchard Park. About 20 contestants ages 10 to 72 and the goal was pretty simple. Eat as much pie slash whipped cream as possible in a minute. Can't think of anything <laughs> better on a hot summer day. And I think you can see as the photos progress, Patrick questioning everything. Did you win? No, nope, my loss to the Aww. gentleman on my left. <laughs> that was a not a tequila hangover, but a pudding hangover. Ooh. Afterwards, I'm not sure what's worse. It, 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 there was a lot of volume there. Yeah, a lot of volume, and it was. I mean, it was a lot of fun, by the way. Um, but to, to ingest that amount of pudding on a hot summer day. <laughs> was, that's why that last so picture. Good. I was just like. And then I went right to your little party afterwards and I was kind of like lumbering in because I had just had like three cups of vanilla pudding. Well, the, the kids didn't seem to have any problem with it. Oh, William and, and Francesca, they were, they, were, they were wired. I can't imagine with Shocking. all that sugar. Shocking. Huh? Shocking. <laughs> Shocking. All right, uh, let's get to it. That was a lot of fun.